Resnick with Sunique. I'm gonna attempt to say the acronym and not goof it up like I did before. Sunique is the Shanghai New International Exhibition Center. Well done, well done. I was practicing. Thanks All for right. having me. Thanks for having me. Uh, you you get two points. <laughs> One okay. for getting the name of the venue right, and one for pronouncing my name right. That's awesome. Good. That's All right, awesome. let's see if I can get another one before the end of the interview. Great. So I got the name right, but I'm not going to attempt to explain it. I'm going to let you do all that. So fun stuff. we are a <laughs> venue located in Shanghai, which is the third largest city in the world for everybody that doesn't know. 24.5 million people. Woo, that's a lot. And <laughs> we are a 17-year-old venue, two million square feet or 200,000 meters, approximately, uh, across 17 buildings on the campus million square feet, 100,000 meters inside. We're run by three German messes who are the fairgrounds and a local Chinese developer. And we're the only venue in China that's Western owned and run. Woo! That's special. And it is special. And you've been that way for 17 years? 17 years since the building was built. It was built with the express purpose of running trade shows and events. So how does that, um, being Western run, how does that play into the, what makes you guys different? If you could speak to that. Part. Well, people speak English. Mm -hmm. We'll start with people speak English. And secondly, that's a big one. I, that's I would a big say. One. In terms of communication, it's a lot easier. Does it help? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes maybe you don't, you wish you didn't. No, but, but seriously, um, what we offer is a lot of experience and excellence. We're always retraining this, the team, mm -hmm. the staff, everybody who works there. We're a very safe venue. Mm -hmm. We're located in the middle of the new part of Shanghai. The area is called Pudong. We're about a 25 minute ride from the airport. And um, we've got everything anybody could need in terms of infrastructure. And we're in the middle of the third largest city in the world. So what we offer is experience, excellence, and English. I love that, the three E's. The three E's. <laughs> wow. The three E's. We're also home to CES Asia. Okay. And IAPA, which is the International Association for Amusement Parks. I've heard of the them. Asian That's shows, a fun yes. One. They're out of Orlando now, right? Yes, I'm Orlando's my hometown, so it I'm is. very familiar. So they, they actually moved from Washington DC to Orlando. But we're on their three year rotation. They they go around Asia and Southeast Asia. So we're on the rotation, the permanent rotation for um, for China. So it, it's yeah, we, we understand how Westerners do business. The thing is shows are different wherever you wherever you do events and festivals, right. you have to go with how things are done there. You can't expect them to know how we do things because right. we may not be the most efficient or we may be more efficient. Right. It's wow. all cultural. So so Shanghai, as you said, you know, third largest city in the world. In the world. I think it's safe to say there's cool things going on there. There's probably some things to do. If oh, you there's <laughs> just a few. Just a few. Uh, phenomenal shopping, food, not all Chinese food. And it's probably the most western city in all of China. Think about it as being like the New York and Beijing is like Washington, D.C. So we're much more the New York vibe. Go, go, go. There's incredible uh, public transportation. It's okay. cheap and plentiful. Uh, there's taxis. And there's also something called Didi, which is Uber. So it's really easy to get around. Uh, there is traffic when you have that many people. But it's a delightful city to come to. And we do get the, we get the numbers. Some of the, yeah. some of the shows that we run will have a quarter million people. We have a number of Informa shows that are yeah. being held there, formerly UVM. Plug. Plug. Plug the Plug. Informa. X-Live X -Live is owned by Informa. Just, just to put just it out there. Just in now. Just to, yeah. Um, and, and so some of the shows do take up the entire, you know, the yeah. entire venue. I have to ask, as someone who works pretty heavily in meetings and event space, aren't you fascinated by the amount of different conferences that people meet about and have? You what know, there's, some of the weird ones that, there's like, a conference for everything, right? There is. There's a conference for everything and there's a trade show for everything. That's right. For example, there's a funeral funeral director show. Hmm. And everybody's dying to get in. We gotta put that out there. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's one of the largest trade shows in the United States yeah. and they've all actually gone offshore as well. So basically what I do as the US rep for Shanghai is we're trying to um, bring in more U.S. shows, okay. people that want to go take advantage of, of being in Asia and being in China specifically. Yeah. And then also we're looking to bring in some esports and some festivals. Because we have such a huge space, it's not like you're, gonna, you're not going to be camping in the middle of the city. But uh, for high ticket, there is a developed middle class. It's a really great place to launch an event. Right, so some, some live events should be coming out there, right? Oh, we, we yeah. have plenty, but 
there's always more. You know, and, and with the explosive growth of like esports in China, yes. it's explosive. Yes. It's huge. I can't even imagine. You can, it's, it's a big topic here, yeah. It's a big topic here. And the same thing with festivals. You know, mm -hmm. the, um, it's very difficult in a large city to find a place that can hold a large festival. So we do look at it in terms of we are very flexible. So our viewers who are interested in, in this Sanique, I'm going to say it right? Sanique. Woo! Three points! Three points! <laughs> So our viewers who are, are interested in learning more, where can they go to find out more information about that? You can um, go to uh, sniec.net. And you can also take a virtual tour of the venue if you want to. It's pretty cool. I suggest you do. And it's a, it's a lot easier than walking the whole thing, because that'll take a while. <laughs> but if you are interested, take a look and contact us. We'd love to have you come out and take a look at the venue and bring your shows and your events and your festivals with you. All right, you guys heard it here. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie, for speaking with us. Thanks so much. All right, we'll see you guys next time.